welcome the next presentation entitled Comparative Efficacy and Safety Among Different Doses of Tenecta Plates in Acute Ischemic Stroke, a Systematic Review and Network Meta Analysis, presented by Mr. Egnanai Uovitea. Good afternoon. My name is Egnanai Uovitea from Faculty of Medicine, Siraj Hospital. Today I would like to present to you my research entitled Comparative Efficacy and Safety Among Different Doses of Tenecta Place in Acute Ischemic Stroke, a Systematic Review and Network Meta-Analysis. So stroke is the second leading cause of death in the world. The prevalence of stroke in Thailand is estimated to be 1.88% among adults 45 years and older. Acute ischemic stroke is a type of stroke which is caused by serial infarction due to insufficient cerebral blood flow. Um, to treat acute ischemic stroke, you can either treat it by intravenous thrombolysis or endovascular thrombectomy. So, uh, alteplase and tenectoplase are the examples of the two most common used drugs for thrombolysis. Uh, when compared this drug, tenectoplase has a lot of more favorable properties when compared to alteplase. For, for instance, tenectoplase can be administered as a single bolus, which resulted in shorter door-to-needle time and improved cost-effectiveness compared to alteplase, while alteplase required continuous infusion for at least one hour to exert its therapeutic effect. Tenectoplase has also also has a longer half-life, greater fibrin specificity, and higher resistance to plasminogen activator inhibitor 1. Um, as a result, genectoplase has been extensively um, studied, and it demonstrated non-inferiority non to alteplase. However, the optimal doses of genectoplase in acute ischemic stroke has been yet established. So our objectives are to compare the efficacy and safety among different doses of tenecteplase in acute ischemic stroke and to explore the efficacy and safety of tenecteplase in elderly patients and patients with large vessel occlusions. So our methods, it, research um, PubMed, Scopus, Cochrane, and Embase for studies. The search term will be derived from the word tenecteplase, stroke, and randomized. This is our full search term, and this is our prisma, prisma flow, prisma chart. The inclusion criteria were phase two of phase three randomized control trial, enrolling acute ischemic stroke patients, comparing at least one dose of tenectoplase to another dose of tenectoplase or alteplase, and reporting the outcome of MRS0 to one, MRS0 to two at three months, mortality at three months, intracerebral hemorrhage and symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage or parenchymal hematoma. Um, we assess risk of bias by using rob 2 tools. The five main categories are randomized process, adherence to the assigned intervention, missing, missing outcome data, the bias of measurement, and the bias of reported result. So after the data extraction, uh, we uh, we conduct a meta-analysis to estimate the relative risk and the 95% credible intervals by using Bayesian network meta-analysis. A meta-analysis with I square greater than 50 was considered heterogeneous. The transitivity assumption was assessed by visual visualizing box plot and using Kruskal Wallis test. Uh, we also used node splitting methods to uh, to determine the consistency to between direct and indirect effect sizes. And then finally, we use Sue crowd value to determine the best probability for the best intervention. All of this was performed in our studio. Next, we, uh, we estimate the certainty of the evidence by using great approach. And we also did a subgroup analysis of elderly patient and patient with large vessel occlusion. So, this is the result. We re included 10 trials comprising of 3,598 participants from 15 publications. There were no significant difference between median of age, gender, baseline IHSS score, and onset to a DBT duration. Um, two trials were classified as low, low, low risk of bias, while 
eight files were classified as having some concern. This is a network graph of our studies for each outcomes. The nodes represent the drop used in, in the study. The bigger the node, the, um, the bigger the sample. And the thickness of the line uh, represents the number of trials between each treatment. There were no significant difference in efficacy and safety between genetic place and multi place. Although genetic place 0.4 mg per kilogram had a significantly higher rate of symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage comparing to 0.25 mg per kilogram of genetic place. For efficacy, 0.25 mg per kilogram of genetic place um, has the highest possibility, probability to be the best treatment in terms of MRI score and survival rates. In terms of safety, um, 0.25 mg per kilogram of genetic place um, has the lowest rate probability to of uh, intracranial hemorrhage and symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage, while 0.1 mg per kilogram of genetic place has the lowest risk of uh, parenchymal hematoma. Um, for early patient, there was no difference between genetic place and multi place. And genetic place, 0.25 mg per kilogram, remains the best treatment. However, some heterogeneity was detected as follows. For large visual occlusion, there, there were similar MRI score, symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage, and mortality rates of genetic place and multi place. And 0.25 mg per kilogram of tenecta place re, uh, remains the best treatment in terms of MRI score, mortality rates, and symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage. In conclusion, uh, our study concluded that 0.25 mg per kilogram of tenecta place has the highest probability to be the optimal treatment for acute ischemic stroke. However, further studies could confirm the optimal dose and drugs for the treatment for acute ischemic stroke. Thank you. Thank you. That's very informative. Now, do we have any questions from our judges on site? Okay. Congratulations. Well done for this mental meta-analysis. Uh, yeah. May I ask you one thing about the network map? Yeah. Uh, did you assess the consistency and what was the result of the consistency of the network? Um, for the consistency, um, because your network has closed through, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, okay. So we use the no splitting method. Methods. Yeah, for consistency, for consistency between direct and indirect effect. And is it the same between direct effect? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. the same. Okay. And what about transitivity? Oh yeah, we use block box plot and cruise call wall is test. And it's the same. It's true. The transitivity remains true. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any more questions or comments from our judges in both on site and online? Um, um, did you assess the publication bias? Oh, for publication bias, oh, we assess by rock to tools. Um, and uh, what is the result? Um, can I show what, what was the result? Oh, the, the result. Um, there were two trials classified as race of bias and a trial. No, no, pu publication bias. Oh, publication bias. Oh, no, we, we did not assess the publication bias. And this is our limitation of our study. Thank you. So I have one question. That, 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 that interesting topic now. I have one question. Uh, do you... Uh, do you uh, specify the study design? Be because you include the uh, phase two and phase three, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the uh, phase two and phase three, they have the different objective, no? Yeah. Because your recommendation, you say that you will find the optimum dose. You know? So, so uh, my question is that you uh, analyze separately uh, for phase two or phase three, or you analyze together? So, unfortunately, uh, we analyzed 
phase two and phase three altogether. I think that this is a limitation to our study. Yeah. Thank you. Are there any more questions or comments from our judges? Thank you so much.